Good morning. So we start with our academic year 2021. And the first lesson that we would be doing this year is polynomials. Now you have definitely learned about this in the lower classes. So just let's very quickly revise what we have learned in the lower classes before we proceed for the higher classes. Now, first of all, what is a polynomial, right? So let us say we have an example. Now, this is an algebraic expression which has three terms, one, two, and three, separated with plus and minus sign. Now, you can see in this algebraic expression, there are some numbers and there are some variables, right? So now, in this algebraic expression, if you see, this is 2 is the power of x, and wherever there is nothing, there is 1. And you also know as per the law of indices, if there is no variable here, we can definitely write it as x raised to 0. So you can see all the three powers of this x variable are either a positive number or 0. In other words, it is a whole number. Then such an algebraic expression is called a polynomial. Then which expressions cannot be called as a polynomial? When we have a rational number in the form m is to n in the index or a negative number. For example, if I have root x minus half x square plus 6. Now you can see this root x, when we write it in the indices form, the power will become 1 upon 2. So, you can see here is a rational number as a power of x and hence this cannot be a polynomial. Other thing is a negative uh, number as a power. Let us say x raised to minus 1 plus 2x square plus 6. So here you can see there is a negative number in the power. So such algebraic expressions are not called as polynomials. You can have negative number here, negative number in coefficients, but you cannot have it as a power. The power, that is the degree of the variable should be a whole number. That is, it should be zero or above zero, right? So that is what is a polynomial. Then depending upon how many terms are present in that polynomial, you can call it as a monomial, a binomial or a polynomial or a trinomial if there is three. Mono means one. So for example, two x, it is just a single term. Now every term, as you know, has two parts. One is the variable and other is the coefficient. So the number that is present in that term is called the coefficient. For example, here the coefficient is minus one upon two. Here the coefficient is six. Here where there is nothing, you know, we can put one and one becomes the coefficient. Right? Similarly, here the coefficient is plus 2, plus 6 and so on. So just one single term is called a monomial. Now even 6 is a monomial. Even though there is no variable, you know we can put it as x raised to 0. Such type of monomials or polynomials are called as constant polynomials. Why are they called? Because the value does not change. This value will remain 6. Whereas this value or value of this monomial will keep on changing depending upon the value of x. If I put x as 1, this value becomes 2. If I put 2, then 2 into 2, the value becomes 4. So you can see the value will keep on changing. So you cannot call these as constant because the value is variable. It is changing. Whereas any number, if I write 5, it can have no other value other than 5. So such type of polynomials are, or monomials are called as constant monomials. Now let us see what is an example of binomial. In binomial, we have two terms as the name suggests bi means two. So you can see we have two terms here. Similarly, if you have three, such type of polynomials are called as trinomials. Tri meaning three. So one, two and three, right? So in this part, I hope you have understood. Which algebraic expressions can be called polynomials when the degree is either zero or natural number? That is a whole number. It cannot be a negative number. It cannot be a ratio. That is one. Second is what are the different type of polynomials? You have monomial, binomial, trinomial and then polynomials. 
Monomial means one term, binomial means two terms, trinomial is three terms and polynomial is more than three. Next, what we will try to understand is degree. What is the degree of a polynomial? This degree is nothing but the highest power that is available in that algebraic expression will be called the degree of that polynomial. For example, if I have this equation, now you can see x raised to 5, x raised to 2. So which is the highest power here? 5. So the degree of this polynomial is 5. Right? Let's take one more example. Minus 3x raised to 6 plus 4x raised to 7 minus 3x cubed plus 2. Now you can see here the degree is 6, 7, 3. So which is the biggest number? 7. So the degree of this polynomial becomes 7. Then what is the degree of this polynomial? It's just 4. So you know we can write this as 4x raised to 0. So 0 is the highest number here. So degree of this constant polynomial becomes 0. So now to find a degree of a polynomial which is having a single variable. You can see there is only x here, only x here. So it becomes easy to see. But what happens if you have more than one variable? Let us say 3 m square n raised to 5 plus 2 m cube n raised to 5 minus 3 m n plus 2. Now you can see every term has two variables. Then how do you decide which is the degree of the polynomial? All you have to do is add the two and whichever is the bigger number will be the degree. So let us say 2 plus 5 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. Here where there is nothing, there is 1. So 1 plus 1, 2. So you can see 3 plus 5, 8 is the biggest degree. So it becomes the degree of that polynomial. That is the number which is having the highest addition will become the degree. When it is the single variable, directly by looking, you can tell by observing which is the highest degree. But when more than one variable is there, you will have to add and find out which is the highest degree of that equation. So let's take one more example. Let us say uh, root 5 x cube y raised to 5 minus half x raised to 4 y raised to 5 plus 6 x square y cube minus 4. Now this is again you can see a polynomial which is having more than one variable x y. So now again let's check what is the degree 5 plus 3 8 4 plus 5 9 and 2 plus 3 is 5. So you can see 4 plus 5 9 is the biggest number. So the degree of this polynomial will be 9. So this is the first part of the lesson where we dis discuss what is a polynomial, how many types of polynomials are there and a degree of polynomial when you have a single variable or more than one variable. Now let's go to the next topic. The next topic is what do you call an equation depending upon the highest degree present. For example, now in this equation you can see the highest degree is 1. Such type of equations are called linear equations. So and if you have an equation which is having highest degree 2, such type of equations are called quadratic equations where the degree is 2. But if you have an equation which is having degree 3, such type of expressions are called cubic expressions. So these are the different types of polynomials based on the degree. So if degree is 1, such an equation is called a linear polynomial. If the degree is 2, quadratic. If the degree is 3, cubic and so on. Now in the next part of the lesson, let us learn what is a standard form of an equation, index form of an equation and coefficient form of an equation. So these are the three forms that we have to see. So now let us say I have an equation x raised to 3 minus 5 x raised to 2 plus 4 x raised to 4 minus 5. Now you can see this equation 
is not in any particular form. You can see 3 and then 2 and then 4, right? So what we can do is when we arrange this equation in the descending order of degree, that is the bigger number first, then the smaller, then the smaller and the lowest degree at the last, then we what we get is called the standard form of an equation. So now like you can see 4x raised to 4 is first, 4 is the first degree, after that is 3. So we write 3 after that. After 3, then 2 degrees is there. So minus 5 x raised to 2 and in the last 5. So you can see the degree is decreasing. 4, 3, 2 and then 0. So when we arrange an equation in such a form, then it is called a standard form of an equation. And it is always best to rearrange these expressions in the standard form before performing any functions on it like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Then it gives you a very clear idea and becomes very easy to do the operations. So just let's take one more example. Let us say 4x square plus 5x cube minus 3x plus 2. Now again you can see the numbers are not in particular order 2, 3, 1. So how do we arrange it? We take the highest degree first, which is 5x cubed. 3 is the biggest number. Then we have 2, then 1, and then the last. So now this becomes the standard form of an equation. We should always remember, we should not look at these numbers. We don't have to arrange these numbers in decreasing order. We have to arrange the power in decreasing order. So 3, 2, 1, and then 0. Right, So you should look only at these numbers. These numbers can be anything, bigger or smaller, it doesn't matter. It's always the degree that you have to see and arrange it in decreasing order. So now this is called the standard form. Now let's go to index form. Now everyone remembers indices that we have done. right? So let's just take these examples only. And I will just show you how to do it. So let us say I have x raised to 3 minus 4x raised to 4 plus 3. Now if I have to write this in the index form, the first step is that I write it in the standard form. That is from the bigger degree. So 4 first, then 3 and then last is plus 3. So you can see I have written 4 first, 3 second and the last. Now to get it in the index form, what we have to do is we have to introduce the degrees which are missing. Right? So you can see 4 is there, 3 is there, but 2, 1 and 0, they are not there. So we have to introduce that. How do we introduce it? First we write the 4 as it is, 3 as it is. Now I want x raised to 2. So we put 0 x raised to 2 because 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So actually we are just adding for the sake of bringing this x raised to 2. Now x raised to 1 is also missing. So x raised to 1 plus 3 and you know when 3 it is x raised to 0. So now you can see we have got all the degrees 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0 from the highest to the lowest. Such form of an equation is called the index form of that equation. So just let's take one more example. Let us say x raised to 5 minus 3x square plus 4. Now you can see this is already in the standard form. 5 is first. 2 is second and then the last. Now what we do? We introduce all the degrees that are missing. We always start with the bigger one, 5. Now 4 is missing. So we put 0 x raised to 4. 3 is also missing. x raised to 3. 2 is there. So we write this term 2. Now 1 is missing. So 0 x raised to 1. And 4 x raised to 0. So now you can see 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. We got all the degrees starting from 5 till 0. So what we do is whichever degree is missing, we add that degree by putting in the coefficient 0. right? Now from this index form itself, we get the third form which is called as the coefficient form. What is the meaning of the word coefficient? Coefficient means the numbers which are present in front of the variable is called the coefficient, right? So for example, this equation, 
if i want to write in a coefficient form i will open a bracket and i will start writing the numbers with comma 4 if there is nothing that means there is 1 so 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma 3 now this becomes the coefficient form of this equation similarly if i want to write for this where there is nothing there is 1 so 1 comma 0 comma 0 comma minus 3 comma 0 comma 4 so you can see this becomes the coefficient form for this equation right so index and coefficient forms are obtained by introducing all the degrees you cannot miss out any degree in between so decreasing order you arrange put the missing degrees and just write out the numbers in front of these variables will give you the coefficient form now from the coefficient form we can even get the index form so let us see how we can do that let us say i have 1 0 3 0 and 1 right now this is the coefficient form given and from this i want to bring the index form so we start from the last we know this is going to be x raised to 0 so 1 x raised to 0 then we go to the next plus 0 x raised to 1 next we go to this 3 we keep on increasing the degree 0 1 2 now for this i know it is going to be 3 then next for this it is going to be x raised to 4 right so 0 1 2 3 4 so 1 x raised to 4 0 x raised to 3 3 x raised to 2 0 x raised to 1 and 1 x raised to 0 so from index form also you can get coefficient form and from coefficient form also we can get the index form right so what are the three forms of writing an equation the standard form index form and the coefficient form what is the standard form just arranging the equation in decreasing order here we don't put zeros and the missing degrees we just write whatever is available in the decreasing order for index form we will have to put the degrees which are missing and after we do that just writing the numbers which are present in bracket separated by a comma will give you a coefficient form now from coefficient form again we can make an index form always remember this will be 0 x raised to 0 x raised to 1 x raised to 2 x raised to 3 x raised to 4 so that way you can write the index form here also you can check 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this will be x raised to 5 you can see we have x raised to 5 this will be 0 x raised to 4 0 x raised to 3 minus 3 x raised to 2 x raised to 1 and x raised to 0 so this is what is we are doing in this uh, chapter or in this part of the uh, lesson so just let's quickly recap what we did what which algebraic expression is called a polynomial only where the degree is a whole number that is zero or greater than zero and how many types of polynomials you have depending upon the number of terms monomial binomial trinomial and so on what is the degree of a polynomial the highest power which is present in that expression of polynomial is called the degree where more than one variable is present you have to add both in every term in the first term you add i got 7 in the second term you add i got 8 in the third term you get 2 uh, so you see 8 is the highest number so the degree becomes 8 so this is how we calculate the degree of an equation next was what are the different types of polynomials depending upon the degree so we have three linear quadratic cubic linear is where the power is 1 quadratic power is 2 cubic the power is 3 there are three different forms of writing the equation standard index and coefficient standard is when we just rearrange the terms in the decreasing order that becomes the standard for index we introduce or we put in the degree which is missing by writing zero in front of that so that becomes the index form and just writing the numbers or the coefficients in bracket separated by commas will give you the coefficient form and from coefficient form again it is very easy to make the index form by say going in the reverse order so x raised to 0 1 2 3 and 4 so this is going to be 
x raised to 4. So I hope you will be able to do the assignment and the classwork and the homework based on this video. Thank you.